Serial Systems Initiative for South Asia, also known as CISA, is promoting improved technologies for maize cultivation in North Central Plateau of Odisha during Karif. In collaboration with Department of Agriculture and Farmers Empowerment, Government of Odisha, this initiative is envisaged to enhance maize productivity, household income, and food security. CISA's work conducted in Mayurbanj district of Odisha over the last four years has shown that Karif maize is the most profitable and sustainable option with potential to intensify fallow lands. Use of maize hybrid most of the varieties that farmers were growing earlier were low yielding. There was little incentive for farmers to follow improved management practices, but it has been observed that hybrids yield more than double when compared with the traditional varieties. Farmers in few pockets like Joshapur could harvest even more than seven tons per hectare. CISA's experience from its work over the past five years suggests that long duration hybrids of very high yield potential can easily be grown in these ecologies because the land remains vacant due to the single crop system and there is a long spell of rainfall from June to September. Alternatively, medium duration hybrids also perform well in this ecology. In addition to yield advantage, the market price of hybrids is more. Also, Bigger and longer grains of some hybrids fetch excellent price. Nutrient Management The transition from no crop to maize crop and from traditional varieties to hybrids is sustainable if good agronomic management practices are followed. As hybrids are very high yielding, the site-specific nutrient management is the second most important intervention. More so in the red and lateritic soils of North Central Plateau of Odisha, which are quickly affected by nutrient imbalances. In plateau soils, phosphorus response is higher than the nitrogen. Therefore, focused attention should be given to phosphorus management, and this has to be kept at priority along with nitrogen management. Apply the nitrogen, phosphorus and potash at 150, 75, 60 kilograms per hectare for getting a good yield. To achieve a recommended fertilizer dose, apply DAP 60 kilograms per acre and MOP 20 kilograms per acre as basal during sowing. At 20 to 25 days after sowing, apply urea 55 kilograms per acre. Finally, at 40 to 45 days after sowing, Apply urea 50 kg per acre and MOP 20 kg per acre. Micronutrients including sulfur, zinc and boron should also be applied based on the soil test. As part of maintaining better soil health, farmers should use farmyard manure or vermicompost depending on the availability of such manures. Plant Population Optimum sowing time is 15th of June to 15th of July, depending on the onset of monsoon. In July sowing, medium duration hybrids should be used. Maize is influenced by crop geometry that depends on size, shape, and orientation of shoots. Hence, nutrient management and other agronomic practices like right number of plants per unit area must be integrated. The interaction between population and plant type of different hybrids does indicate that at least 30,000 plants per acre with row-row spacing of 60 centimeters and plant-plant spacing of 20 centimeters should be maintained across hybrids. The seeding depth should be maintained at 4 to 5 centimeters to ensure good germination. To achieve the desired plant population, seed rate should not be less than 8 kilograms per acre. The joint activity also shows that the desired population can best be achieved more economically by sowing using a seed-cum fertilizer drill. Wherever a seed-cum fertilizer drill is not available, 
farmers may use markers to achieve desired plant population. The placement of phosphorus containing granular fertilizers is most accurate when it is applied with the seed cum fertilizer drill. Please remember, maize needs well-drained soils and fine tilth for better crop establishment. <laughs> weed management. Timely control of weeds in maize fields is very important to ensure a good harvest. In Karif maize, weed and crop emerge at the same time. In this region, weed flora is dominated by annual grasses and broad leaf weeds with dominance of motha among perennial weeds. Farmers must ensure early weed management, preferably with one manual weeding at 20 to 25 days after sowing, followed by earthing up. Earthing up is necessary to avoid lodging. In case labor is not available or labor is costly, herbicide use may be more economical. Also, continuous rains may delay manual weeding and in that case, herbicide use can help timely weed management. Atrazine, at 500 grams per acre, immediately after sowing, can control annual broadleaf weeds, but not necessarily annual grasses. Atrazine can also be used as early post-emergence at 12 to 15 days after sowing. Depending on the availability, farmers may use post-emergence herbicides recommended by the State Agricultural University. Nowadays, mechanical weeders are available and farmers may use these weeders for weeding and earthing up. Follow an integrated approach by combining one or the other methods. Maze Marketing Marketing is a process where many players, including farmers, aggregators, commission agent grain buyers, among others, are involved. Selling of dry maize grain through proper channels will ensure good return to farmers. Growing of maize for selling green cobs is only a short-term arrangement. With increase in the area under Creef maize, its market for dry grain has to be insured. In order to get a good price, farmers should dry the cob and grain on a cement floor or on polythene to avoid fungal contamination. At selling, the moisture content of the grain should not be more than 15%. In Meyer Banj, farmers are producing 20 quintal in an acre and are selling their produce at 1,500 rupees per quintal. So, with this method of maize cultivation, farmers are easily earning 30,000 rupees on an investment of 10,000 rupees in one acre. In order to sustain maize cultivation, its value chain is being strengthened through integrating farmers, aggregators, and poultry feed millers by government of Odisha and Sisa. CISA's efforts to intensify improved maize cultivation in the fallow lands of Odisha during the rainy season have reaped better productivity and profits. Now, farmers in several districts of Odisha are ready to adopt improved agricultural practices. Music